Hello, hello, it's me, LaShawn, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad you decided to join me here once again. Uh, dry skin. I, I'm doing the best I can, but my skin is off the chain. Welcome back, and if you're new here, please hit the like button, the comment, leave a comment, to share, to share. Um, and then if you really enjoy this video, then subscribe and come on back. Okay, so let's get this started. Today we're going to talk about... Um, life after divorce okay so I'm just you know uh, the things that are important to me the things that people want me to talk about those are the things that I'm going to address I have no problem talking about my life after divorce because this phase this life journey this chapter this season whatever you want to call it this um, time of my life is the best time I've had and I'm now 52 years old um, I'm 52 with three children. I have no grandchildren. I have dated since my divorce, and I have uh, found true love after my divorce. I found someone who really loves and cares for me, who put my needs before his own, and he was a wonderful man. And I've talked about him before. Uh, Paul has moved on, and so have I. It didn't work out because... Paul was looking for a permanent relationship, a serious relationship. Um, he's retired military. He was a good man. He was good to me. And um, But the thing about it is I wasn't ready for that. I, that's just not what I wanted. So dating over 50 is a tough subject anyway because most of the time each party, the man and the woman, the woman and the woman, the man and the man, whatever you got going on, you have kids involved. They're not kids' kids anymore. Usually they're young adults. And so you have two families that are meshing together. So you have the relationship in all of, and, and it's in, at the beginning and you're loving each other and you're caring for each other and you're trying to make that situation work. And then you have two families who are combining. That's got to work. And then if you've been alone, that means you've been living alone and maybe the man that you're with, maybe he was living alone also, or maybe not. Maybe one of his grown children was living there. Whatever the situation, you're now going to come together as one. And that, that's really that's really tough because are you still healing? Because I can say now, many years later, I'm still healing because it's an ongoing process. Now, this is the thing. Everybody's relationship is unique. Everybody's relationship is new and different. So it's you can't really put a little pin on it and say this is what you need to do because everybody grieve, heal, and thrive at their own speed, at their own level. And, and nobody should be standing there with a watch talking about, come on, come on, you've been divorced this long. Come on, come on, snap out of it. It's not like that. For me personally, I have not been dating. I have had offers though. Don't get it twisted. OK, if some people still into this natural look I got going on now at 52. OK, some people into that. Uh, seriously, though, let me get back. Uh, I've had offers. I'm just not interested. I'm not exactly sure why, but I have been. Let me see. This is what year is this? This 2021. I've been celibate since 2014. I'm not even shy to say it because it's, this is my body and this is my choice. I haven't, um, I, let me see, yeah, 2014 because I was divorced in 2015. So in 2014, I became celibate. In 2015, I was officially divorced. I have dated twice in between uh, with, um, found really great Christian men. But that's not what I want right now. I like being alone. I like having my apartment alone. It's just me and my bird. And that's okay. I might get a dog. I'm not sure if I'm ready for another dog. I miss my little hot dog, Wheezy. So I'm not sure if I'll get another pet. But dating right now would have to be spontaneous. Dating, I wouldn't, I don't know if I could do an app or something like that. I'm just not with it. I feel so old when I talk about it because, you know, everybody tells me, you know, you're beautiful to shine. You have a great personality. You're fun to be around. You know, you can find you a guy and start traveling and go here and there. I don't. The problem is 
I'm at this stage now where I don't need anybody to take me any place. I can take myself, okay? I am. And plus, I'm way too cheap to go outside my safety zone. But for now, for me, at this stage, at the age of 52, I have decided that I do not want to date right now. But, you know, you know, God is telling the final story. So if uh, Mr. Wonderful walk past me at Publix, okay, because he'd have to be at Publix because that's my favorite store on the planet. If he could uh, meet me in Publix, because I met a couple zeros at Publix, okay, this I have to tell you that story. But um, anyway, if, if, if God want me to meet Mr. Wright in the product, in the produce section of Publix when I'm trying to figure out which grapes and cherries I'm going to, because I spend a lot of time over there. I spend a lot of time in the produce session. Then he's the man for me, okay? Because it, that would irritate a lot of people. But look, it, let me tell you, grapes and cherries are the highest things now to buy and oranges. So you better take your time and you better pick out the right ones, baby. Just like you trying to find a mate uh, out here dating over 50, okay? You don't want to get no clunkers. You want to get the good things. And that's what I do when I go to the cherries and the grapes, okay? So that, enough about that. That's all I want to say about that. <laughs> it's your choice. Seriously. It's your choice. It's your body. It's your life. If you want to be in a relationship, if you want to be sexually active in 2021, if you want to be monogamous in 2021, those are your choices. You decide what you want to do. I'm not going to preach to you about abstinence or this or that. Hey, that's you. This is my body and this is what I choose to do. Now, if I meet somebody and, you know, it's on and popping, then that's a whole nother story. I'd have to do a little research first because I don't I don't jump into anything without planning. So enough of that. Let's breathe in, breathe out and get this day started. Are you ready? Let's do it. OK, let's breathe in. Come on. A big one. Come on. <laughs> I don't know why my heart beats so fast. I think because I was talking about dating. <laughs> That's why I would be so fast. I need to calm down. So thanks again for joining me here. You know, I, I made light of the situation, but it's some of you right now that's that's at the river and you can't decide which way to go. Should I date or should not date? It's up to you. You know your lifestyle. You know, are you a workaholic? Are you selfish? Are you uh, jump in too fast and love too hard? You know all of your qualities. And then you know all the qualities that you're looking for. So don't don't fall for the damn okie doke. Okay? With some don't fall for the okie doke, because there's a lot of them out there thinking because you over 50, you ain't got no brains, but you you know what you're doing. You got a lot of you got a lot of mileage on there, okay? So again, have a wonderful day, have a peaceful day, have a relaxing day, okay? And if you meet Mr. Wright, tell me about it, because I want to know, okay? Remember, God loves you, and so do I. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.